it's a pleasure to to be invited to speak on this platform. Um, first of all, I am actually I have to say that I'm not an expert on Chinese opera, but um, when I um, received the invitation, I thought as a as someone who has been working and an active in the cultural industry in China, it's my duty to to introduce some of the traditional culture um, 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 to the uh, global audience. My background is actually art history and I have been working on the um, charitable foundation field and also um, I did many work with museum planning, so um, which is quite re irrelevant to today, but um, I think I um, have been studying with two masters, which who you will see in the screen very soon, um, because it's, it's, it's a performance art. Therefore, I think my um, presentation would be, um, I speak less than I would introduce um, two other performance artists, and then you will see the differences in the Chinese opera. And later on, you will also hear their, their voices. And, you know, because two of them are also on screen, so, so that later on, you could ask questions directly to the masters as well. Um, first of all, just some background information about um, um, Chinese opera. Um, because Lena just now mentioned Peking opera, actually Chinese opera is, is so, the genres are so big and, and there are so many different um, 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 vocal differences, there are so, so many different performance and characters. It goes back to probably 1100 years ago, um, but Peking opera is just one of the Chinese opera genre that we are speaking today. Um, but today I actually also would like to int introduce um, um, an, an art form called Ping Tan, also known as Suzhou Ping Tan. And the reason why I'm doing this is also because that we could show that Peking Opera is from Beijing, so northern part of China, but um, Suzhou Ping Tan is also, it's actually from southern part of China. And it's also um, populated in Shanghai. And um, it's it, the differences, um, probably the biggest difference is, is that um, Peking Opera is a form of opera, so theater performance, but Ping Tan is actually a, um, a vocal music, musical, a folk musical uh, theater. So, so for instance, um, a person who performs in the Peking Opera would require um, four major um, technique and skills which are the singing, the recitation, the acting, as well as the acrobatic um, movements. Um, but for Suzhou Ping Tan, um, it's more about storytelling, um, music playing, um, aria singing, sometimes even um, joke, joke cracking. So it's, it's very live um, performance. It often also relates to contemporary issues. It, 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 it has a lot of improvisation while it's performance. It, it, it actually is very lively. It carries on with, with the um, uh, current days. So also because probably everybody knows that there's a there's an old saying in Chinese that 10 years of practice for one minute on stage, which means that a person who studies in this traditional art form will have to be learned from master who actually uh, hand down directly, uh, you know, their, their, their techniques and, and, and uh, there's knowledge that uh, will have to be learned very vividly from one to another. Um, in the next video part, I would like to actually to show that um, the, the first artist whose name is Liu Ziwei, who has been learning from the great master from Peking Opera, whose name is Gao Shengling. Um, their role is a very, um, very um, elaborate role because it's a male military role in the Chinese opera called Wu Sheng. Um, in the next video, you will see that um, um, our artist Liu Ziwei today um, is, was learning from the master 40 years ago. We've been very lucky to be able to extract a video from 1982. And you will see one minute that how his teacher has been teaching him. 
And then he has been very kind. He also recorded a short video of him teaching um, the next generation so that we could compare that one person who was learning and teaching the in between the differences. And also we, we've edited 20 seconds of the theater performance of the practice. So you will see the learning, the teaching and the performance on stage. Dear. Help. Ta. 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 别在这个味儿都行啊要松弛别使国际起来往下来连来不停啊第一好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好
this traditional art form, which is almost a rigorous scholarship, at the same time to develop their, their kindness and their way of speech and their way of behave. Um, in the next, you will hear from the artist directly. So please be, um, take uh, pay attention to, to, the, to their voice and also the sound because they really learned properly and, and also they're, 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 they're so beautiful. So can we have um, Liu Laoshi to come to the screen? Thank you. Hi, 大家好,我叫刘子卫。刚刚在视频里大家看到就是那么就是所以正好处在那个叛逆期呢而且有的时候我有我自己的想法就是我没有按照我老师的那个要求去做我做我自己喜欢的动作当年呢我的老师呢他也没有批评我没有纠正我更没有打压我现在过了四十多年了
Um, so the next artist I would like to introduce, whose name is um, Lu Jiawei. Sorry. Um, can we also see? Um, uh, again, I want to mention. Uh, I want to mention um, this new, uh, what slightly newer uh, way of um, of of the art form. Uh, it's called Suzhou Ping Tan. Um, actually, Lu Lao Shi is very young. Who he is? Uh, who is in his forties? Um, the reason why I thought he could be one of an, another example to show how younger generation is dedicating their their life and dedicating their their um, way of un, of learning to the to the traditional art form is because actually a lot of um, intangible asset in Chinese culture is 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 losing. We, we're almost losing little by little every single day. When I speak to him, he actually also within the Suzhou Ping Tan, there were different genres of different vocal techniques and you can obtain and you can also carry on with your own performance. So he is actually very familiar with Xia Diao. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, familiar with Yang Diao and Jiang Diao. Um, but he actually realized Xia Diao is a losing performance and requires a lot of technique which, which almost is forgotten by his peers. So he actually is devoting a lot of time in his area to try to save this lost art form. Therefore, today we, we'd like him to show two different ways of singing. So for the audience to, to, to feel that what, which way is, is, more, is more his style, which, more, which way is more the teacher's style. But, of course, we would like to hear his speech first, and then he will show us the difference in the performance. 大家好，我是平潭演员陆家伟。下调呢是平潭二十四种流派之一，我非常喜欢这个流派。它是夏和生老师啊，在上世纪的二十年代，呃，发明这么一个流派，至今呀已经有百余年的历史了。下调呢，它是真假嗓结合来演唱的这么一种流派，但是呢，它对演唱者的嗓音条件的要求是非常高。到我这一辈儿呢，传承下调的人可以说是几乎没有了。但是这门流派是不能失传的，所以我就担负起
在下调的基础上，借鉴了昆曲的很多的唱腔和形体动作。接下来为大家演唱的是选自于四大美人当中马尾坡的几句唱。啊！自然。I just want to elaborate a little bit、um, about what he said. You know, the the singing part I think is amazing.、Um, probably we have already、um, heard the differences because the first、uh, short melody was often use high pitched voice、um, in the vocal sound,、um, and the later part is more deep and you know more、uh, using、um, I think a lot of energy from the the the, the、um, The abnormal part, which is you know really really deep and and、uh, rich in the in the male vocal voice,、um, but the differences was actually the first one is a different genre. It's called xia diao.、Um, the the person who created this performance already died long time ago, and the the performance was very famous in nineteen nineteen twenties, according to to、uh, Liu Laoshi. Lu 老师 and he also said that because this this master has already passed away, unlike the first artist Liu Ziwei, who was able to learn from the master directly, but who but Lu 老师 he had to actually listen to a lot of video recordings and to to understand what what is the technique in there, and also the first part of the singing was not originally sung by this master, but he actually. Learn the technique and then interpret it in, into his own way, and he was able to create this new type of singing according to his own um, um, preference and also his advantage of the voice. So, two of the artists who have always been learning so much and they are still learning every day and reflecting on their masters. So, this is、um, the 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 the.、Uh, Again, coming back to the the core value of this speech, of this section, that we want to show that it's not only the Chinese opera itself. It's not never just about the knowledge and skill. It's really about the people who take care of the the asset. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to ask you.、Um... You, you mentioned the master, and you mentioned the education, and I really love the the singing now, and I also love the video that you showed, and and I I almost sensed the,、uh, I mean the the old master who was teaching the movements. I could tell there was so much energy in that, and now we just had the haka from the New Zealand. We also had all that energy and the you know being present in your body. So I I have a question both for you and also for.、Um, Our singer, how do you, how do you work with finding that energy and getting that power into the the singing? Because I, I could see it in the song, but I could definitely see it in the old master. And you said ten years for one minute. How many years does this take? 
Um, I will answer very quickly and I will leave the chance to, to the other two artists. I think from, from my point of view, I'm not a performer, but I always know that it's important to understand your mission and also to have your own vision. I think as an individual, we cannot just follow other people. We definitely need to constantly reflect on who we are and what we are pursuing. Therefore, I think that the energy is actually coming from within. And I think they want to be um, every day better and better. This is something I think deeply rooted in our culture. Um, 现在我我问一下陆老师和刘老师，刚才啊 ，Lena 问的问题就是说，因为看到了大家在表演的时候，还有在学习的时候，这种能量，他就问，就是说，如何去寻找，就是说，每天在在大家生活和表演过程当中，这种能量，这种能量来自于哪里？可能我请啊，刘老师先简单说一下。抱歉，我以为我已经没事了呢。<笑>就是我觉得。就是我们从小做了这这一行吧，就是你一直要坚持练功，这个动力嘛，就是你要把这个呃事业一直传承下去吧。啊，我想这个就是我们所有坚持在做这一行的这个人的呃这些人的初衷。因为现在传统艺术并不是非常流行，呃，但是也一定要把它传承，因为毕竟京剧还算是中国的国粹之一吧。所以我们都有这个，呃，把它传承下去。谢谢。Very, very touching. Again, he said, um, uh, Chinese opera is part of the Chinese celebration. Therefore, therefore, to to carry on the tradition is really、um, the mission. And and also because he started early,、um, you know, as Lena said, ten years of practice for one minute on stage, which means that he、uh, has to start from. Uh, very young age, like six, seven, or even younger. Therefore,、uh, to practice every day, to never stop practicing, become very essential to 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 be able to carry on the performance and to show the best to the audience. He also said that because traditional culture right now is not popular culture, it become more and more isolated in in the inter entertainment industry. Therefore, they. Uh, they must reform and they must connect to the to the people today. Thank you, Lu 老师，请你也说一句，谢谢。可能就是我现在作为啊、呃、中青年演员了吧，不算是青年演员了。呃，可能刚刚学习评弹，就是刚刚出来演出的时候，只有二十岁左右，所以那个时候可能这个呃事业对我来说只是一个工作，是一个赚钱的工作，但是。啊，随着演艺生涯的这样一个延续啊，到我现在这个年龄，我慢慢已经感觉到，呃，平弹不单单是一个工作，而且已经成为自己的一种兴趣爱好了，是每天不可或缺的这么一部分。所以啊、呃，我自给自己的动力就是每天我想把我自己学到的、感悟到的一些人生如何运用到啊、呃、我的。艺术当中来说给观众听，所以我每天有这么让我提升的一这样一个动力，所以嗯，不断的在学习，不断的在传承，有机会的话还能更好的让这个流派啊或者这个艺术有一个全新的发展，这是我心中的呃对于平潭的一些认识。Thank you， 嗯、um...。Lu 老师 actually said that the power of understanding and perception of a traditional form of art is so important. He started performing ping tan at his twenties,、uh, actually on his twenty,、uh, when he was twenty years old. So by then he almost felt this is my job. This is just work. But twenty years later, as 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 he became someone who cannot even separate life and performance, he wants to. Bring every day the best to the audience, and he more and more understood that he meant to be performing, and he wants this to 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 be、um, to grow as well. He doesn't just want to carry what he should be doing. He really wants to、uh, make this performance 
even known and also if even influential. And he's also learning from other art forms and to absorb the best from others to integrate to his own performance. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you for the performance. Thank you for bringing all these wonderful people into this conversation. This is, this is just amazing.